Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem six in chapter twenty nine. Chapter twenty nine is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. This is a simple application about Faraday's law when the flood is average induced EMF. Right? Let's see what is the given quantities. The given quantity tell us we have the diameter, so we can convert it to the radius there. Right? And the we know the time taking, so we write down the time taking 0.16 second, and then how many turns on our coil? It is a wire coil, so n equal to one, right? The next one, a little bit difficult, is the magnetic field density. So as we talk about this magnetic field density, right, just changes direction. Initially, it is 0.68t pointing up. Finally, it is 0.25t pointing down. So we can take the positive direction as we can take the up as a positive in, uh, direction. So that means the initial is 0.68t, right? The final pointing down become negative 0.25t. Agree? Yes. And then we can see this uh, magnetic field dense is perpendicular to the coil, right? So the, we just uh, can write down the magnetic inflow flux is B times E, right? Theta is zero. So now we can write down the Faraday's law. It is a negative nd phi over dt as we need to find the average induced EMF. So that means in a certain time, we need to find use the uh, in a certain time dirty how much is this uh, magnetic influx changes right so use it delta phi over dirty mm -hmm. and then we can write delta phi as a times delta b right a times delta b and the next one how you find is a cross sectional errors for the coil pi r squared so now we input all this uh, a in this uh, equation we get the uh, function for epsilon. This is induced EMF and input all the given quantity, you get answer there. Thank you.